Hi, right, Boyness Dogs here, playing Deep Dungeons of Doom. Um, I've been spending the last couple days leveling up my characters, doing some grinding. <laughs> and so I'll show you kind of where the characters are at currently. So, for the witch, we've leveled her up, um, got her up to the fourth tier. It's not too high, but this is like a new ability that we've added. And then for the Crusader, I've been spending most of the time upgrading the Crusader. So he's up to everything but the very top tier now. <coughs> I'll quickly go through the abilities we have selected. 1 HP per floor, 15% 15 resistance, 15 resistance to physical damage. We've got a agility boost, plus resistance to magical damage. Some an attack boost, as well as another attack boost. So our Crusader is a little bit stronger. <coughs> And we'll be using him to go to the Sad Village. Now I tried playing through this once before and it's a really, really long level. And I died at the last boss. Um, so this time, there's a lot of repetition in the enemies that you fight. And so at some point, what I'm gonna do is probably fast forward through some of the footage where it's more repetitive. So um, we can get to, so you can get to see the boss so you having to wait for way too long. <laughs> that being said, we'll get started with the Crusader. Mercenary. What's this fire all about? Witch. Look, there's an old man over there. Maybe he can tell us what's going on. Crusader, I know him. He's Pratchett. Not to be confused with Terry Pratchett. He's a wizard. A knight asks us for a way into the dungeon. We managed to find a key from another dimension, and this knight tried to stop the evil. He failed miserably, and when the gate was shut down, it was too late. Pratchett, listen to me carefully. You need to open this gate for us again so we can fail. <laughs> no, it's too dangerous if you... Dot, dot, dot. No buts or ifs. Open it. We will claim the key and fix this mess. Okay, I'll do it, but please don't fail. Listen, wizard. I'm not in the failure business. Alright. So, um, I have a couple a couple items here that I brought in from another dungeon. Nothing too special. Um, so I'll probably replace this stuff pretty quick. The crown I'm wearing gives me a, an agility boost. Attack. Let's see what this ring does. I prefer the agility. Alright, I'm gonna boost hit points. 
So all these potions that we've been seeing have been ones that we have to sacrifice some HP for. It's a little too much HP to sacrifice in my opinion. Um, the Crusader does have an ability where he can charge and heal some of that, but... Gargoyle turns to stone. It's a good time to use any kind of charge if you need to. You can let go right after it turns away from stone. If you hit him when he is stone, it will stun you, so don't hit him when he's stone like that. I think I'm going to keep this one, and then for the future upgrades, I'm going to start boosting my agility to make up for that. I think. Yep. I'm so slow now. I really dislike these guards. They're very slow. Next will do a little charge attack. Uh, there it goes. If you try hitting him when his shield's down, he'll counter and attack you. So the time to hit him is when he's kind of peeking above his shield a little bit. So these guys take a little bit too long to kill, in my opinion. If you have a better strategy to um, how to kill these guys quicker, let me know. There we go. Alright, let's see what this one does. Same one that we saw earlier. Skip the shrine. This guy has a lot of hit points compared to other disembodied heads. Alright, agility boost. Hey guys, why don't you take it easy? Dogs are playing a little, a little rough tonight. Belmont, Wicket, come here. Alright, just calm down. Alright. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Him a lot quicker that time though. 
I'm gonna go ahead and spend a revive, see if we can get lucky here. Alright. Some Lovecraft action going on here. Alright, hopefully I didn't just waste my revive. As a thought, you will die! Watch out when the explosions are near you. And black when he turns blue there. Just be very careful, we'll try to block a lot here. Entrance to the deepest dungeon of doom. Finally possible. Crusader, I failed them again. Mercenary, what are you? Shh, leave him be. I have no idea what's going on. You take a sword from Azathoth's body that literally gleams with power. No doubt it will serve you well in the fight ahead. Admit to your companions that this was your hometown. You also wonder whether this path of violence and strife you have chosen to walk is truly the right one. Mercenary, your hometown, huh? I was starting to question whether you had one. What's your name, anyway? I am Marion. Marion the Crusader. Marion? Seriously? Not nice to rag on somebody's name like that after their town burnt down. All right, so let's go take a look at that new weapon that we got. So now all three of our key item slots are filled. Some resistance to poison, some HP bonuses. All around, pretty solid sword there. And that in the Deep Dungeons of Doom level coming up very shortly. So we've beat all the dungeons now except for the final Deep Dungeon of Doom. So we will come back to that shortly. Thank you all for watching.